wish I had a short pair of these because I don't need all this. First time in my life I ain't needed another inch, I'll tell you that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order some new spark plugs and uh, um, up spark plugs. You dumb son of a bitch, why don't you hold a dildo? Oh, come on, Colt, squeeze it with your purse. Ah. No, no, I'm not going to buckle up, you dork. I'm going to my backyard. Buckle up. I buckle up every other way, every other time, but I ain't buckling up right now. What up, dicks? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colt's way. Today, we're working on the old uh, 7.3 IDI. It ain't going to be a long video, but um, I've already changed oil. I mean, shit, it's a drain plug and a filter. I mean, I, I, you know, I guess I'm trying to make up content, you know, but I mean, shit, I ain't got to show you all everything. But, you know, there's the, the old filter, the old oil, and I've done put a new filter on there. And Anyway, change oil. I put a, I run T6 in, in my 6.7, but uh, in this thing here, I'm going to run T4. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't really know what it's going to, I mean, I'm, I, I'm assuming it's going to be leaking. So we'll see how much it leaks, you know. T4 is a lot cheaper than T6. I don't really think this thing needs synthetic. Uh, it's old as shit. I mean, probably any oil would work, but uh, I run T4 in it. I done put the oil in there to filter. I've started it up. Um, it's running good, but I am going to change the, uh, the fuel filter today. So here's the, the fuel filter. I'm going to change that into a one-piece filter. So, I mean, there's a bunch of videos on it online, but I need the content and I might as well do something productive. So let's roll, dicks. And while we wait, we might as well hydrate with a, with a Paps Blue Ribbon, son. See if we can even feel myself drinking it. Pinky's up for the rainbow community. All right, I did some, what I did is I, I re-crimped all the battery connections. I gotta kind of re redo that one, but I, I was in a bind. So I recrimped all of them, got good connections, good to go. But I did some looking around, and this what's plug right here, you probably hear that clicking? That, that little fuel pump down there, it, it's hooked to that little fuel pump, so it's an electric fuel pump, okay? Um, that's why this soft line here and this is deleted. But I guess my question is, they still got, I see they still got the mechanical, you know, they make, if anybody knows this, let me know because I'm, I'm trying to learn and, you know, figure this stuff out. They still have the mechanical pump in there and I know they make a block off plate. Now, is it all right if I run, you know, when I started up, you know, before I started, I just hooked this to it right now. I'm going to put it on a relay, but is it all right if I run with the electric pump with the mechanical pump still there? Or do I need to take the mechanical pump out and put the block off plate? It seems to be running fine, you know, um, but this is, I got, got to looking around, so that's the electric, you know, pump right here. It, it, this soft line goes in here and it connects to the hard line that was coming back from the tank. Um, so, but, but the mechanical, it's got two, two, two things in it. So I think the other one's still hooked up. Like I said, I don't know shit about this son bitch. I'm still trying to learn. So I'll take any, anything anybody can tell me, but do I need, is it all right to leave that mechanical pump in there or do I need to take the, get the block off plate and put it on? Because I mean, it seems to be running fine, you know? And I'll keep, these are cheap. I'll keep me a spare mechanical pump in the truck in case I ever get sidelined on the side of the road or something. I might update it, update it to that one everybody's got up top. It's a big like a uh, fa facet or faucet, facet pump or something. It's pretty big. It's got a clear filter on the bottom. I like that one better. Eventually I'll do it, but this seems to be fine right now. And I'm just trying to see the ins and outs of this sucker. But uh, yeah, so. What, what I'm gonna do now is the, the oil filter from the factory, is a, is a, it's a two-piece filter, okay? It's two-piece. So it's got this little spin-off valve down here on the bottom, you spin it off. It's all, I think this line is like the water separated thing. It was already, somebody's already disconnected that shit. So I don't even know what it is, but after I got to looking around, you know, everybody's going to the one-piece filter with the uh, water separated valve built in. So I, I ordered one of them. And everybody deletes this because it leaks, but I mean, mine's not leaking right there, so I don't, I don't want to mess with it right now. They, they either take that off and put a rubber plug in there, or they, they thread the holes and then put a, put a bolt in there to whatever. Seems like that, that rubber plug, expandable plug thing, you squeeze it and it gets fatter and fatter. It seems like that's easier because I don't want to have to tap nothing. But uh, we're going to change the fuel filter right now. And I've watched a bunch of videos because I don't know. But, um, you know, I don't know if the injectors or, or anything's ever been cleaned, so... I'm gonna put uh, some diesel clean inside the fuel filter and some uh, ATF, some uh, automatic trans transmission fluid in there. Let it circulate for a little bit and then I'll, I'll let it sit overnight or whatever, a day or two. 
and then I'll crank it up and drive it. But it's supposed to clean the injectors and lubricate everything, so it's going to be good for it. Um, so once I change the fuel filter, I, hopefully I don't have any problems, you know, priming it because I've got this electric fuel pump that's going to pull it up. And I've been learning some stuff. It's, it's fun, you know, like I learned how to start my truck with a damn screwdriver if I got to. You just go from here to here right there like that. And then I know when I turn the key, I mean, it's hot in Louisiana. Shit, I'm sweating right now, son. But it don't, it don't want to start, you know, and I, when I turn the key and the weight to start light goes off, then it's the glow plug controller starts click, 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 clicking. So I'm assuming I got a problem with the glow plugs, but I got my little test light out and tested them all and they lit up. I know that's not the best test. You should pull them and, and, and ohm them out. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order some new spark plugs and uh, um, uh, spark plugs. You dumb son of a bitch. Why don't you hold a dildo? I'm going to hold, I'm going to order some new glow plugs and, uh, and a glow plug harness. I've been searching online. I'm going to get that and replace the glow plugs and the harness and get all the new ones. And uh, hopefully that will, will, will solve that problem. But, um, and then I'm going to add a relay to the fuel pump. That'll be another video. But uh, for right now, I just put it on there while I'm driving. I haven't drove it far. You know, I went and got my insurance and license and title and tags and all that shit so I can drive it down the road. But uh, anyway, just enough damn rambling. I'm just still learning about it, you know, and, and I figured out how to, how to jump the uh, glow plug harness down there, take some pliers and hit that one and then hit the metal in it bypasses it and it heats the glow plugs up then I can start it but I mean right now it's starting this son of a bitch right here is it running like a top let me just show you what I'm talking about let me hit this old sucker right here so we're gonna we're gonna wait to start and it might not this this radio it's working good so I'm gonna crank this sucker up shoot son but she's smoking a little bit you know you you gonna get that on them big jobs you know they're 34 years old but uh now the ac it blows but it's not cold and i can't figure out how to get it to you know it blows but but it blows on the defrost and I, but i want it coming out these vents right here and i got the sun bitch put on vent or max but it ain't really blowing so there might be some kind of control module in there i need to change but uh running like a top oh radio works good i can hear everything speak i'll turn it on i turn it on i kept hearing it on the right side I said, hold up, let me fix that balance real quick. Put that sucker right in the middle like it was made for it. Change old, oil pressure's good. Now this, this, I need to get a new sensor. I don't, I have to figure out where that's at. My fuel pump or my fuel gauge is jacked up. But, uh, you know, you're going to get that on a big job just little by little. But I'm going to change, you know, the fuel filter and, and clean the injectors with the transmission fluid. Boy, you can't even hear me. I love the way that sucker sounds. You can't even hear me talking. Let me turn it off. But, um. Greta, Greta would be pissed right now. Let me go over here and breathe this in. <sighs> Smells like, tastes like freedom. But we're gonna change the fuel filter real quick. Quit rambling, you dumbass. So let's get it changed. You will fly up on my stuff. <sighs> let's get it changed and uh, we'll try to start it. You know, another thing I done learned about this old valve right here, this check valve, you push this in and it gets the air out of the lines and diesel comes out. But we'll do all that after I change the fuel filter, I guess. But uh, let's roll. All right, so I had to use these channel locks here to bust this thing, this bottom part loose because uh, I was just being a wimp. I was trying to, oh, there we go. All right. I'm assuming fuel's about to be coming out. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it, taking shit apart, putting it back together. Maybe ain't no fuel coming out. I don't know. But, oh, that's a lot of fuel. That shit is nasty. So I probably got a bunch of shit up in the tank. Don't need to be. I'm going to have to drain that tank. But how is this son of a bitch even running? Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Damn, son. No wonder she's smoking. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. This poor thing. All right, get this up out of here. Damn. That's kind of alarming to me. Like I said, I ain't no freaking mechanic, but that that ain't even colored. I mean, good Lord. All right, well, you're gonna get that on them big jobs. So now I doubt I'm gonna be able to turn this thing. Ugh. So I'm gonna go get some, uh, I'm gonna go get my old filter wrench and try to turn it. That, that, that's, got, that's got me, look at that. Look at that. That some bitch ever been changed? Damn, son. 
All right, so obviously, old rubber thing. I, I broke my other, my other damn whole uh, wrench thing, whatever. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put the big boys on it and see if maybe I can, I might have to take this intake off and get on that side. And, Took the oil dipstick out, so I moved this sucker. <sighs> All right. I wish I had a short pair of these, because I don't need all this. First time in my life, I ain't needed another inch, I'll tell you that. Shoot. How can you even get anything up in here? I'm talking about, all right, Colt, cool. just, just, just chill out, man. Chill out, you dork. Nerd. That looks about. Let's just try it. Try each one out. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it, son. Oh, I don't want to break that line. I know that. Come on. All the damn dipsticks is in my way. Pull you out like I did the old one. All right. Oh, come on, Colt, squeeze it with your purse. I'm gonna have to regroup here because I don't want y'all to have to watch this for an hour. After fighting it for a good bit longer, I got it with that wrench. I just, some gasket just fell. Must have been that one from the bottom. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Oh, I'll be about time. All right, this son of a bitch. Look at this, look at this. What is this? That shit's brown. About time for a replacement, huh? I got a bucket under me right here. It all went in that bucket. Don't worry about it. Ah, dang, I tell y'all it's hot in Louisiana, I sweat down. I like two rabbits effing in a wool sock. I gotta pause it, my hands is nasty. I don't wanna touch my camera, so. I'll be back. All right, so I got some cleaner right here. Just gonna spray down in here, kind of. Shouldn't have got it on that harness right there. Ooh, that something just went in my cut and it hurts. Wimp. I shouldn't have got it on that little harness, but you got the picture. I done cleaned this sucker up. Just wanted to put it on camera that I cleaned it up and a little bit right there. So I wiped all this earlier. I mean, it's. All right. All right, I don't like that I got it on the harness. I'll probably have to make my own harness one day anyway, but that some bitch ain't today. All right, get this up out of here too, huh? Get up out of here, son. Come on. All right. Whew. All right. Now hopefully, hopefully, I ain't got a problem starting it because I got that electric fuel pump. So we're gonna get the new filter. You know, I'm gonna do some stuff to it, pour a little something in it, and let's roll. All right, dicks. So, like I said, I seen this crap online. I, this ain't my idea, I just doing what everybody else does. Pour a little diesel clean up in that thing. I'm gonna try to do about half and half. Half diesel clean, half uh, ATF fluid. I can't see what half is, but that, that's a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a little something. Yeah, get all up in there, son. Let that sucker fill up. I see it coming down a little bit. Let me hit it with the, uh, let me hit it with the diesel clean real quick. Ah. All right, a little bit more of this. Like old Aspie said, the best of both worlds. Now, what I'm, when I when I put this on the truck and I start it. I'm gonna let, you know, I'm gonna run it for a, 
a, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn it off for a couple of days. Okay, it's full. It looks full. Turn it off for a couple of days, and then uh, or or for like a day, and then I'll start it up. And this is supposed to get into injection, whatever inject pump, injection lines, all that injectors, and clean it up. That's what it's supposed to do. So let's roll. I'm gonna go dip my finger in this right here, and I'm gonna just put it on this O-ring before somebody calls me out for it. Shut up, nerds. All right. Now, good luck with this, because this is without spilling it all over the place. My God, I can't even fit it in here. That's what she said. <laughs> Might have to come from the back over here. Well, I just, let me get this, I'll get this old dipstick out of the way. I don't put it in there, move it out four or five times. So, man. Well, I'm just trying not to break none of these old lines, but something just might. We done spilt a little bit. That should have buff. All right. Now, I'm going to just thread it on. I say that. It's too slippery right now. get it as tight as I can and I'm gonna have to stop and uh, clean this because I can't grip it. All right, let me let me clean it where I can grip it. All right, so my damn camera's overheating. I'm overheating. You know, it looks like, you see, I feel like I can't get it any tighter. There's a gap here. I'm guessing that's okay. We're gonna find out. Um, I did go online and look at some other videos and it looks like there's still a gap, but I mean, hell, I'm yanking on that sucker and I can't get it to turn anymore. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is uh, hook up the, the electric fuel pump and let it prime for a little bit. And then we'll try to start her up and see how she rolls. All right, so I, I shouldn't have any problem cranking her now. Let's hook the, like I said, I'm gonna get a relay for this. So, you know, we're just gonna leave that on there right now. I can hear the pump down there clicking. So shouldn't have no problem priming it or nothing. Let's check the, uh, I don't learn some stuff, son. I mean, it ain't like it's like secret or nothing. Everybody knows, but I didn't know, I know now. So we'll check, make sure I ain't got no air up in here. There was a little bit. Oh, there is some, so. Seems to be good now. There we go. All right, let's go crank this sucker up. I got faith in this thing. This thing, I mean, this thing probably going. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, we got to wait. All right. Are you kidding me, son? Look at this thing. This thing probably going to run longer than that raggedy shit. I love this truck. I love this truck. I love it. But uh, I'm going to drive it and let it sit here for a minute. Uh, I'm going to drive it to the back and park it for a day. And then I'll start it up and just let this ATF fluid sit overnight. Got me my rider and uh, got old Clyde locked in, locked and loaded, son. No, no. I'm not going to buckle up, you dork. I'm going to my backyard. Buckle up. I buckle up every other way, every other time, but I ain't buckling up right now. And I don't want to hear it, I'm sweat down, I'm in a hurry. Oh, I'm gonna get out of the way, old son. I love this truck. I'm gonna drive this, I might want to put it in reverse, stupid. I'll be driving this truck longer than I'll be driving my, this thing ain't never gonna die. You can't kill it, it's a dinosaur. Ain't that a song? We're gonna get a cassette, we're gonna play that sucker. I'm just, all right, let's roll. Come on back, old son. Watch it, John. Watch it. Watch it, Tuck Tuck. Come on now. I ain't playing with him. I ain't playing with him. Ain't just something about old truck. 
I don't even know if I want to fix it up. Like outside. I just want to get the sucker running good. And just, I'll drive all over town. I, I mean, I ain't ashamed. I love this truck. I'll go anywhere in this. That's the old work truck. Park it back up out of the way. So, shoot, son. All right. All right. I got to adjust my mirrors, but I mean, it's good enough. Now, this thing going to sit here for a couple of days, okay? And uh, I hide her back here, you know. So she's going to sit here for a couple of days. I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to let all that, whoo, that breeze feels good. I'm going to let all that sit in there and clean the injectors and uh, the pump and, you know, that uh, ATF fluid and the diesel clean ought to, ought to do wonders for it. I mean, shit, it is way better than it was. But uh, I, I, just, I love this truck. Uh, we got to get my man real quick and hit him because I got places to go, things to do. Let's roll. All right, diesel. I mean, hush it, bro. We got to hit old Clyde. Come on, fill him up. Fill him up, fill him up. Diesel, now come on. What are you, what are you whining about? Hey, you want a little, you want a little? Here you go, buddy. Yeah, there you go, buddy. You know your daddy loves you. Your daddy loves you so much. All right, let's get the rest. All right. I done fat fingered the record button as I was turning the phone around, but hit a buff. Got old Clyde. See? Huh? 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 All right. I know this is kind of an impromptu video. Ain't, ain't really many people care about this truck, but I mean, hell, I don't care. I'm just going to do everything I want to it. And if you want to watch it, you can. If not, well, you suck. All right. Anyway, appreciate the hell out of y'all watching. Until next time, God bless. Tails down, beaks up. <laughs>